Yeah, this lady just cut everyone, by the way. Should I do it? Should we cut them in line? No, when she goes to order, be... I'm just gonna go walk there and like order in front of her. Look, he's telling on him. No, 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 do not join into this. Stop, put your, stop. Yeah, it's another day where it's like super wet, super rainy. But it's Melina Mondays! It's Melina Mondays, and we can't get a Christmas tree. It's just too wet, guys. But we can do something else fun. Maybe go to a nice place that Melina likes to eat. I hate people like that. You don't just drive in someone and slam on your brakes, you cunt. So what are you feeling? Hot cocoa or something nice? Like a latte? Car wash? It's never a good chat to have road rage. Road rage is like... But I don't act on it, I just scream. Yeah, but what if like one day like the screaming, like... You scream so much, you take it to the next level. If you actually want to go do some activity, you have to actually Looking good, plan Nicholas. it. I was literally busy yesterday, cooking yeah. for like 12 hours, hey. cleaning hey. up after- like, No, no. Yeah. Didn't have time to plan for the stream today. You were busy playing Overwatch. Don't you could have done it yourself. This is at work. Yeah, this lady just cut everyone, by the way. Who? Which one? They went around the outside and just got in line here and cut everybody. Should I do it? Should we cut them in line? No, when she goes to order, be... I'm just gonna go walk there and like order in front of her. So do you think two wrongs make a right? Are they just gonna continue to get away with being shameless? Look, he's telling on them. No, 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 do not join into this. Stop, put your, stop. This person actually cut the line. Yeah, and once they're done, I'm going too. They're leaving. Once they're done ordering, and if he's going back to that car, I'm next. Malena. They cut 10 people. Let's fucking weed them out. Melina, Melina. No, is... shut up. Melina, stop, shut up. stop. Shut stop, up. Stop. Never get between a person and their coffee. I have not had coffee this morning. Yeah, but where this person has a gun, this is America. Are you guys calling me soy? Chat, you guys are literally saying go fight them. God damn it, Nick. Grow a fing spine, dude. Thing is, we just have all the information to make a, a judgment based why this guy cut the line. Maybe his wife's going through labor and she eats coffee. Alright, uh, you wanna pull over here and we can decide where we wanna go? Maybe I am soft. Because I, I know for a fact, if that happened to my mom, it would be Armageddon, bro. It mm -hmm. would be like, uh uh, bitch, get your ass. Behind me. Hey Nick, while you're growing a spine, you should grow some balls while you're at it. If someone attacked Milana in public, Nick would walk the other way. So today, Milena, I think you should take us and myself on a little happy tour. Let's go to some places that make you happy, preferably drive throughs Okay, where do you want to go, darling? What makes Milena happy, chat? Cigarettes. <laughs> where do you want to go? What makes you happy? Bakery. You want to go to a bakery? Okay, let's go to a bakery. What else makes you happy? You shut up. You want some cigarettes? Yes, thank God! Finally, no we're on something. Let's get you some nice food that you like. Let's get you some fish. Think of it this way. Milena refuses to eat American fish because she's like, I'm from Norway. My fish is fresh. It's better. Yeah, but your, no. your fish comes from an, an ocean full of anger. But Nick, if you say it that way, people are going to think I'm like a privileged What? No, explain to them why I don't like fish here. Because she takes her fish raw from the ocean. I fish it myself. I can walk down the ocean and fish it myself. Dude, every time you drive, it's always an event. I feel like when I'm driving, there's like no stress, no sort of crazy things going on, no fing bull. But whenever you drive, it's always some sort of crazy things happening. Is it you that makes these sort of things happen? I think I, I think I drive in the same pattern as you because it was you and Adept who taught me how to drive. I would not know how to drive unless it was for her because in the start when I learned how to drive, Nick had like a massive, like three massive panic attacks. He couldn't deal with the thought of my life being in, or his life being in my hands. That is not the truth. You just didn't listen, just like you didn't listen right back no, 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 no. there. Here's an incident of me being a new driver. I, I didn't know how to maneuver the car properly yet. I was just a brand new driver. And Nick's like, make the next right. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna try and make the next right. And I missed it because I wasn't confident in doing it to cross over a car who was on my right. And then Nick's like, you're not fit to drive. Don't ever drive again. Like you need to be, learn how to do this to be a good driver. But I, you didn't even give me the time a day to even like learn how to do that and then we just went home and I didn't drive for a month and then Adept moved to Texas and then she like took her time and just like taught me how to drive I had given up I had literally given up well you missed your turn there buddy it's a double line you fucking dumbass I can't cross here all right we're at Melina's favorite stop number one she's gonna run in and get herself some happy food this car smells awful and I'm pretty sure it's because Melina leaves her, all her trash in here see I don't know if I'm actually like if I'm actually the problem because I feel like if Melina's making this car messy. I should be able to be like, hey, can you not leave bags of trash in the car? I feel like I should be able to say that, right? In like a healthy relationship, that's something that you should be able to say and like not receive any sort of flack for it. Or you can clean it. 
First off, tell you where, tell tell the chat where you went and why it makes you happy. It's my favorite bakery. Okay, why does it make you happy? Because it's really good food. The food is uh, not so sweet. I don't remember which country it actually originates from. Mention some countries in Asia, please. In Asia? Yeah. Hong Kong. Come on, stop farming, Nick. Vietnam, Cambodia, no. Thailand, no. Pakistan, More. South Korea, More. Argentina, Mongolia. No, it's like a smaller country. Tibet, Uruguay. What? Uruguay. Uruguay. I think it's. All right, no one cares. I think it's Taiwan. I'm not sure. I'm not entirely sure, but it's 85C Bakery, and the the food there, like the sweets, aren't that sweet. Like it doesn't taste like sugar. It tastes like good. Okay, so what do we get? Milk tea bun with like bean paste in it. It's really good. Here's a taro swirl bun. Look, it's like different colors. Here's a mango custard bun. This is a. A mocha bun. It's really good. It's like chocolate, kind of. Um, I think this is the mango one. I was wrong about the other one. Here's a chocolate croissant. Here's um, salted caramel bread. I think this is just a custard bun, but it's uh, it's really good though. I think I got two of those. And then a chocolate bun. Who's all this for? Me! Let's try it. Can I have a try? What do you think? It's alright. Oh, this was $20. Where else you wanna go? What else makes you happy? I think you're $20 if you buy into this. No. Melina, when you went inside Nikki's talking about how you left trash in the car, which is ironic because he was still in the car. <laughs> <laughs> look how fluffy it is, look. Well, it never really fluffed back after you fingered it, did it? Now, is there like a favorite restaurant that sells real food? Yeah, but you told me drive through and I can't order stuff because I can't drive. Oh my god. So you're telling me if I ever want to make you happy, I come to this bakery and order one of everything. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, I know what else you like to do. You like to go get flowers. Yeah, I have to buy them for myself but no one buys them for me. Well, see where I'm from when I was raised, you have to, in order to earn a reward, you have to do something to earn a reward. Holy. Are you saying I'm not doing anything? I'm saying you do what you're supposed to do, but you have to go above and beyond to earn a, a, a prize. Yeah, well, you play Overwatch every day. I spend my entire I day doing hour, everything else. I play one hour. Shut more. the f up, World of Warcraft addict. You know what? If you want to hear the God's honest truth, nothing in that box to me looks super appetizing. But you try one thing and you're like, that's illegal. Yeah, it's good, but it's like, I don't have an addiction towards things like this. Crispy. It makes me very happy if you look a bite. Delicious. Should we turn one of the days into like Nick Day? We have Melana Monday. Let's do like Nick Thursdays. You know what Mar um, March 8th is? March 8th? Mm -hmm. Is that a date I should know? Yeah. March 8th. What date? Is this every year? Yeah. March 8th? International Women's Day? Now you know why we have International Women's Day. I don't know. So Hallmark can sell more greeting cards? So there's 365 days a year, right? Yeah. 364 of them is National International Men's Day. Now one of those days, March 8th, is International Women's Day. Why do we have Malaya Mondays? I, I don't know. Because every other day is Nick Day. But there's an International Men's Day too. I'm not gonna lie, dude. Hopefully it's 29th of February. I'm getting tired of all this women victim bullshit. The first thing you said to me today was, you're lovely enough physically abusive. <laughs> <laughs> I, feel like, I, feel, I feel like you're using this this stuff against me so you can have a Melana Monday and I don't get any day. How about once a month we do a Nick, a Nick day? You know what? To be fair though, you're kind of right because every time streamers in cars, we usually just go to places I want to go to. Mm. So you're kind of actually right. Wait a minute. Can we go to a place I want to go to now? This was good. Mwah. Thank you for making me happy and believing me. You are kissing a box. Someone in there could have put their ball sack on that box. See, this is why I hate men. It's always about ball sacks. Shut the f up. Where is the second place you want to go to that makes Melana happy? It's just late. I want to go buy Buddy another candy cane. Kevin. Boo, Kevin. Boo. Don't you want, like, food? 
No, but I want to put more trash on this floor. <laughs> Why is this in the trunk? What is that? Yo, throw it away, dog. What? It's not open. It's a gift. Throw that away. It's obviously a gift. Let's clean the floor. This is what you want to do instead of going to get food? Put all this stuff that's on the floor in here. First thing we're throwing away. Eggs and cheddar from Starbucks. Second thing we're throwing away on the floor. Grapes. Grapes. Still dripping. Diet Coke. That's not mine. Skinny popcorn, which you know is Milena's. Some weird note. Maybe a love note written to a, Wait, what is this? a lover. Hair clip. Hey, I've been looking for that. Bottle of water. I don't drink. That could be mine, but I definitely didn't put it there. Another can. Nuts. And yes, there are nuts on the floor that have fallen out of that M&M bag. Oh look, an 85C wrapper from the last time she was here. Love it. And now I can finally stretch my feet out. Now do you want to get some food? Yeah. Now what restaurant that you want to go to that makes you happy? Sushi. <sighs> you know the problem with me and Milena, guys, is that we are 100% polar opposites. I'm fun. We just like- I'm creative. I stand up for myself. We are opposites in everything. He's good at math. And it gets tiring sometimes. But one thing that we do share is a raw lust for one another. Raw sexual lust. You remember we were playing the newlyweds yesterday? Can, can we play that right now? Sure. What is my number one pet peeve? Number one pet peeve? Now I'm gonna guess that you said chewing. But it's actually this. You just said ew to my food. I said, just I said ugh. What am I thinking about right now? <laughs> I was close. Come on, take us to your favorite, favorite fast food place. Where's my favorite fast food place? Your favorite fast food place. What'd you say? Oh. oh. Guess where it was not meant to be. You remember that one time you made me fling my arm in my own face and I'm like, wow, well, you hit me and then you're like, no, you hit yourself. You hit me in my mouth and my mouth started to bleed. No, you hit yourself. <laughs> no, you took my hand and punched myself in the face and my mouth started to bleed. Why are you pushing yourself, dumbass? If I did that, oh my God, this guy's a woman abuser. You Trump do man. <laughs> so here's the deal. I think we've essentially exhausted our Milena Mondays here because Milena doesn't want to go anywhere else besides cigarettes and alcohol. So honestly, I think this is a good, a good stopping point for today. I'm going to go get my favorite food in Austin, off stream. <laughs> and she's going to drive me there. So that's going to be uh, the end of the Milena Mondays for sure.